Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below. Perhaps after reviewing how other Asian countries operate internet, the Ministry of Digital Economy is said to be considering a suggestion to create a single national internet gateway, which would afford them total control of what can and cannot be viewed here. Plauded as an initiative to reduce cybercrime and more, it would possibly negate the successful use of VPNs, but also create a society where any web source that doesn't meet Thailand's criteria for any reason could be blocked. Police lay claim to resolving close to 4,000 cybercrimes in the past year, especially call centres outside the country that target users here in Thailand. As Thailand mulls the reopening of the Malaysian border, so there this weekend has seen COVID cases reach a record high, with expectation of upwards of 30,000 new cases there daily by the weekend. 80% of Malaysians have been double vaccinated, and the Omicron variant is, as we know, far weaker in its attack on patients than previous types. A two-in-the-morning operation by officials and army in Prachup Kiri Khan saw 226 job seekers nabbed in a remote area. Following reports to authorities by locals, all were deported quickly, except guides who were held in detention. A representative of a migrant labour development network is quoted in national press as stating that he believes upwards of 100,000 migrants have made it into Thailand and are already working, albeit illegally. And the Prime Minister has stated that efforts to register foreign labour should be sped up to facilitate the filling of an estimated 800,000 jobs here. A rights group in the United States overlooking their own recent history is demanding that fishing nets and other goods manufactured here in Thai prisons be refused import licenses to the US. Workers in prison here volunteer to work and keep themselves busy, along with earning pocket money they aren't forced. However, until very recently, forced labour was an active part of US prisons. Nevertheless, a petition has been handed to the US Customs last week. Meanwhile at home and in our own region this morning Monday, we received reports of 884 new cases of the virus within a 24-hour period. 162 in Chambari, 249 in Sirachar, 246 in Banglamung and 51 in Satahip. Nationally, the numbers are still rising, 18,883, with 14,914 reported to be recovered and released from quarantine. The toings and froings of politics began in earnest this week as candidates begin to consider registration for the upcoming election for the position of Patty as mayor. With reported disagreements amongst many already, the prime candidate still appears to be the current mayor, Sontaya Kun Plum. He who inherited a bustling city and then spent his entire time in office steering it through the effects of the global Covid epidemic. The mayor replaced army-style management, which took over after his popular brother Itipon had to leave the position, as, according to Thai law, once his term of office expired and with no elections available, he had to move on. He, now a government minister, is seen as supportive of his brother. At Lam Chabang Port, a truck driver lost control of his vehicle at the harbour, seeing it roll into the sea. Despite every effort, the driver drowned and an investigation is underway, along with a full truck inspection. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll see us interviewing the British Consul to Thailand on Fabulous 103. That'll kick off at around 11 o'clock, delayed for a week due to family issues. He'll be answering all the questions you sent in to us via email and Facebook. And a Chinese man has been arrested along with his Thai wife, charged with farming some four dozen full-size crocodiles in Nong Pru without a licence. The elderly couple claimed to have bought the business along with licences to attract tourists two years ago, but as COVID saw their business dwindle, they closed to the public. All the crocs were captured and moved to a registered location as the matters resolved. And with the Met Office warning that temperatures are going to drop over the next week, and we can expect highs today of around 28, dropping down to 24, and a good chance of rain at any time. Local and national news today... From Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program.